We have some melted wax in our pot and I'm demonstrating how to make candles. This is making two at a time, just holding the string in the middle and then shaping it just a little bit before it cools. These have been dipped probably seven or eight times, but each time I dip I get a little layer of wax to make it a little bit fatter candle. And I can hang it over the stick here between two chairs. This one's probably been dipped probably up to maybe 15 or 20. And I'll dip it and get another layer of wax on it, just like I did the small ones. And you might notice it's getting a little drip on the bottom. And every once in a while I'll stop and cut that off put it right back in the pot to make a nice flat bottom. The early pioneers used a lot of candles for light in their homes and also to put in little lanterns to go out to milk the cow of the morning or go to the toilet or check on anything outside after dark or to go visit friends. And the harmonist that lived here starting in 1814 had a store and being a communal group they said in some of their journals and diaries that the men a lot of times in the fall when they got all their crops in and were butchering animals the weather began to get cold they would take two or three days and make candles to put in their store for all the people to use through the winter and their wax would have been from animal fat from the cows and the sheep it was called tallow and from pigs it's called lard and they used it some too but it wasn't as good as the beef and sheep uh, honeycomb is another good it's still the very best candle of all and if they could put some of that in with their meat fat it would make a nicer candle that burned a little cleaner and smelled a little better and that's a honeycomb that'll melt down it's pure wax this is flax that we know the harmonists grew cotton and flax to make their linen. They sold a lot of cloth and they could braid or spin some of these fibers to make their wicks. And uh, these two candles have flax for their wicks. And, and you would do that the same way we did the others. The harmonists had a wheel like this where they could mass produce candles. They dip 16 at a time on, on each paddle. Just dip it the same way we did two at a time. Only we dip 16 at a time. Put it on the wheel. Turn the wheel. Dip the next one. By the time that one comes back around, it's plenty cool enough to dip again. So to load and unload that, several times a day would make a lot of candles. If it rains, we can't dip. It'll ruin the wax and our fire. This is the other flex, flex uh, wick candle. But these have probably just been dipped a few times and they're beginning to resemble a candle. And they come out a little curled at the bottom. 